Okay, we're dealing here with the SS, or the sum of the squared deviations. We're going to do the definitional formula first, then the computational formula. With a definitional formula, the first thing you have to do is find the mean. X bar and M are the same thing. They're both the mean for a sample, and they're your measure of central tendency. So to get the mean, you add each score, to, and you come up with a grand total. You have seven of them. And you use a small n because it's a sample. So adding them up, it comes to 35. Then to find the mean, you put the 35 over the total number of scores. The formula looks like this. And it comes to 5. The next thing we do is subtract the mean from each score. Those are negatives in there. Leave your negatives so that you can find out if you did it right or not. If you did it right, it should equal zero. The next thing we do to pull it away from zero is square each deviation. Then you add them up. This comes to 36. That is your SS. It is literally the sum of the squared deviations. Now we'll do the computational formula. For the computational formula, this piece here is just the total squared. Now I make a mistake when I do this, but all my little boxes are correct. The point is to use your little boxes, so 3 times 3 is 9, and then add your zeros. 3 times 5 is 15, add your zero. Then you add all those up. Now I misadded, because I added in my head. I realize it before this is finished but I wanted you to see where the 7 comes from. Each one of these, each one of the scores needs to be squared. That's the second piece. Well, that's the first piece. Then you add those all up. It comes out to 211. As you notice, I fixed my issue. So it's 211 minus 175, which equals 36. You come up with the same number no matter whether you use the definitional or the computational formula. In the next video, We'll be doing variance and standard deviation.